everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 24 inch canvas that um, I'm going to do a swipe on. And I already have down um, a layer of Rust-Oleum Metallic Champagne, uh, half and half, and um, Rust-Oleum Metallic White Pearl. Half and half. I just wanted to lighten that uh, champagne a little bit. Did not want it that dark. And let's go over my other paints right away. I have the Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents Ameth Ameth Amethyst. Kind of hard to say. Amethyst. And I have DecoArt Metallics Peacock Pearl. Pretty color. DecoArt's Metallics Berry. Deco Art Metallics uh, Deep Sapphire. Very pretty blue color. And the last one is a combination of Deco Art Metallic Copper and Ceram Coat Copper. The uh, Deco Art Metallics Copper is a really, really uh, brassy copper color. So I just wanted to lighten it up a little bit. So that's why I added this other copper to it. And my pouring medium today is, I'm sorry, I have one more color, Folk Art, uh, 14 karat gold is my last color there. Um, pouring medium today is two parts Floetrol, one part paint. I add a squirt of GAC 800 and about a teaspoon of the uh, Liquitex Gloss Medium. So I'm going to swipe from the middle down. So we just need to start with uh, laying our colors down. And I am going to be swiping with the gold today. So I'll just lay my colors down here. That's that peacock color, very pretty. As is this berry color. And next I think I'll put the copper. And this deep sapphire blue is just a beautiful, beautiful blue color. And then the last color that I'm going to put down is this amethyst. Okay. And like I said, I'm going to swipe with gold. So I will put the gold in the middle here. And if I need to add more, I will. And I'm going to be swiping today with uh, moistened paper towels. So 
So you just want to lay that paper towel in the gold. Make sure it has good contact. And then just bring it down. Very, very pretty. And I also will just dab my edges with my paper towel here. And I will fix up my edges when I'm finished. Okay, we're going to do that again. If I tear the paper towel in half, I have a little bit better control of it. Okay, here we go again. I'm just letting that paper towel just float over the edge sometimes. And that seems to do the job also. And just right down here at the end. Okay, looking very good. Now I'm going to turn the canvas around here and I just see a few spots where I think I might need a little more gold okay and we'll start the other side. Just keep going with that. Okay, just one at the end here. Okay, now I think I will torch it a little bit. Very, very pretty.
Okay, I'm just gonna do a little bit of tipping back and forth here, just to see if the paints will move at all. And it looks like they are. I'm one that I don't have to have that gold exactly in the middle. Oops. So I just like to do a little bit of tipping here and there. Okay. Now, what you can do to, and I have done this before, I think I'm going to just do one swipe here at the end, see if I can improve this at all. What you can do is, I have a little um, bottle with a very small needle nose, and I'm going to um, just add a little bit of, add, add a few lines here and see how that looks. That improves it. Just just for the eye to have something else to look at. And I'm trying to go through lines when I can that had already been established like that. And I think I will try and do some more tipping, just to get those lines to look like they're truly incorporated in this painting. And I'm hoping that you can see most of this tipping going on. I apologize if if I am out of camera. And I am going to take my skewer and I'm just going to run it through these lines a little bit just to make them a little bit more natural looking. Also to bring some color down. Just playing with the painting here a little bit. I think I'm liking that better. Okay, I'm 
just going to do a little bit more tipping here. I may even run some of that paint off the end there. As you can see, I have quite a bit of paint. Because I do like the effect that that gold is having when I run it down. Okay, and I'm going to turn it this way. And I'm going to run it this way now. See if I can get it to run down a little bit. This way. Okay, yes, I like that a lot better. Okay, I'm going to do another torch. First, I'm going to run my skewer here a little bit. Always looking to improve it, no matter how I can. Okay, now I'm going to torch again. Beautiful, shiny painting. Very happy with it. Okay. And I will get you down for a close-up. And you can tell me what you think. Hi, everybody. This is our close-up of our painting. Again, this is a 12 by 24 inch canvas. And what I did off camera is I took my skewer and I just played around a little more with the blue lines that I had put in. I drew them out more. And I also um, did some extra lines to bring up some of the colors from underneath. And I like that effect much more. So I'll just take you over the whole painting here. Got some pretty nice cells. Love the purple. You can see th there's some lines that I put in to bring up some of the blue, some of the other colors too. Very pretty. I'm hoping that you can see, you can see some of that gold shine there. And I drew out a lot of the lines in here. Then this is the upper right hand corner. Very pretty down in here. I'll try and get you to I'll try and get you to be able to see the whole painting pretty much. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share. Uh, hit the bell and uh, choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. 
subscribe if you haven't. That would be great. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.